Uh, it feels really, really good. Um, felt amazing to win the win the stage. I've, uh, I feel I've been riding strongly in Belgium this season. Um, I've had a, my bits of bad luck. I got food poisoning at a key moment when I wanted to do well, and that was a bit of a blow. I've come close in some ra big races in Belgium and got caught, and then just finishing the bunch and not not got anything to show from it. Um, and uh, I just felt I needed that little bit of luck, and then I'd get a good result. And uh, it just all aligned today, and uh, just really, really happy. Maybe uh, show my cards a bit now, um, but just going to continue to race aggressively and uh, try and try and animate the race a little bit. There's a lot of strong guys here. Mike in the break was he was really strong, so uh, I was a bit I was lucky that we got with him. Um, and yeah. Uh, could uh, could you put in this interview? Could you say I want to dedicate this to a guy called Gavin Atkins, and um, he's uh, a best mate of mine and a coach in England. And uh, he he got hit by a truck in uh, October, and uh, he's been in hospital ever since. And uh, I'd really like it if you just said it. This is for Gavin. <laughs> I was brought up in England, and um, I've got Irish grandparents. My granny was uh, born in Charlestown in County Mayo and my uh, granddad was in the Dublin area and they moved to uh, England when my dad was born and uh, I was always brought up to be more proud of the Irish roots than the English roots <laughs> um, and then uh, the last three years I've been based in Belgium racing there ever since I stopped being a junior so I'm 21 now and um, so I've been racing tough races there just trying to improve and improve. I'm not actually from the Tipperary area That's, it was uh, Martin O'Loughlin um, who's part of the club he uh, contacted me earlier in the season, said there was a space free, and uh, asked me if I was interested in representing them. And uh, I jumped at the opportunity, and uh, I was proud to proud to wear the jersey for them. So really happy to get the win. Well, I'd, I've had quite a good racing program up to this. I raced in Italy last week in a five-day race, and uh, before that, another big one-day race in Belgium. I was a little tired. The legs felt a little bit uh, lethargic. Um, and I went in a move earlier on and my legs weren't feeling great and they uh, came together and I just sat in and then uh, chanced a few breakaway moves and uh, 15k to go Mike Norvely attacked and I went across with him and then we got a gap straight away but I thought it was I thought we'd stay away for a while but I wasn't sure if it would stay to the end I was hoping maybe someone would come across but uh, my legs just kept feeling better and better when we were working and the gap stayed the same they were giving us gaps and uh, 10k to go, it's still a minute, 5k to go, it was still a minute. And when, it, when they said a minute with 5k, I felt, felt we could do it. And then uh, 3k to go and knew, knew we'd stay.